Jack, congratulations on your historic win as the first Sikowskis clinch victory and represent your community. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, thank you so much. I'm I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. This is a surreal feeling. I wanted to share that I picked you as my preseason winner. I accurately predicted the last three winners, Xavier, Taylor, and now you, Jack. What are your thoughts on that? Hey, thank you so much for choosing me. That's such an honor. Um, that's wild. Uh, what I say to that is that you're really good at guessing. Like, that is insane because I would have never guessed for me to win, and I was in there. <laughs> Your passion is shown through in your answers in the jury's questioning and your final speech. Did you feel confident about your win after these moments? Say that one more time. I didn't your hear passion is shown through in your answers to the jury's questioning your final speech. Did you feel confident about your win after these moments? You know, like when I was in the final two sitting next to Matt, I feel like I felt like I had to advocate for myself and own my game and like fight for my life once again. Um, I thought that he would have a, more jury votes than me potentially. And so um, I was really passionate with my speech and I wasn't confident that I was going to win. You know, like I didn't think I, it was a shoe win, like, oh, I'm going to win this thing. Um, but I knew that I had to do everything in my power to own up to my game and show the jury what I've done. You initially planned to evict Matt at the Final Four, but you had a change of heart after a lengthy diary room session on Saturday. What influenced your decision to stay loyal to Matt? Yeah, you know, like, I'm I'm the type, like, I'll analyze every possible route down to the core, even if I'm going to do it or not do it. You know, I did that throughout this season with every possible decision, and, you know, this was, this was no different. Um, I thought about everything, and ultimately – what was most important to me was staying true to who I am and playing a game that was loyal. Um, I wanted to make the decision that I would be proud of, that my family would be proud of, my community would be proud of, and um, a decision where I can look back at it and hold my head up high. You know, Matt never turned his back on me during week four. You know, he saved me, and I was not going to be the one to turn my back on Matt. Being the only winner evicted from the game is a unique position. What adjustments did you make to your gameplay post eviction that ultimately led to your victory? Yeah, you know, I think uh, pre eviction, I was really focused on, you know, being loyal to, to everyone. And if I'm loyal to everyone, then I'm loyal to no one. And after that eviction, um, I decided that I was going to be loyal to that. And I was going to still play a loyal game, but I could show that by being loyal to this one person and play my game. To everybody else, I was just going to play hard and fight hard in competitions and do everything in my power to make sure Matt and I ended up in the final two seats. The game introduced various twists, including the power of instability and the invisible HOH. Do you believe it was fair for you to hold the HOH title consecutively for two weeks? And do you believe there might be an asterisk next to your win because of these twists? Yeah, you know, I think um, Corey, for instance, uh, after his uh, double HOH, he got the chance to play in the following HOH. Cameron, for instance, after his uh, HOH, um, got the chance to play in the following HOH. I do think it's fair. It's a part of the game. You know, it's a part of the twist. And everyone had the opportunity to had the opportunity to win the invisible HOH. Everyone had the opportunity to win the following HOH. I'm just the one that stepped up to the plate. Jag, you, Matt, and Bowie devised a plan called the Pressure Cracker at the Final Five to basically torment Felicia and test her under the pressure of the HOH competition. What was the rationale behind wanting to do this, Felicia, to this, do this to Felicia? And do you believe this strategy was necessary for your game? No, it definitely wasn't necessary for my game. I think, uh, that's like not my best moment. You know, we were kind of coming up with random plans. At no point did we were we actually enacting the plan. I think a lot of it was us like messing around. We talked about like pots and pans and stuff. Like at no point was I going to take pots and pans. At no point was any of us going to do that. Um, but I do get like, even in jokes, that things can get taken too far. I think that is not my proudest moment. You know, I, I'll own up to that. Like that is not something that is reflective of who I am and the game I wanted to play. Um, and, you know, all, all my love goes to Mama Fee. 
had Matt beat you in the end, would you have regretted evicting Felicia over him at the final four? Absolutely not. Um, I knew the decision I made. I knew the consequences it could come with. And even when I chose him in the final two, I knew that there was a very real possibility he would beat me in the end. But I made it for reasons outside of just winning the game. You know, I it, it was bigger than that for me. And so had he won, he would have deserved to win. And I would be very happy and supportive of it. Now, winning with the game comes with a $750,000 grand prize. What are your plans for the money? Uh, I wish I had a, a good answer for this. I feel like I had so much time in the house to think about this. Um, but ultimately, the one thing that has remained true for me throughout you know, my life and even this game is that my family is everything to me. Everything I do is for my family. Um, and you know, my parents immigrated to this country and sacrificed everything in their life to give me the life that I have. And me winning this, you know, everything I do is for my family and everything is, you know, this is no different. Um, so that's all I know. Your journey clearly had a profound impact, not just on you, but also on those who cheered for you. Throughout the season, I had the opportunity to chat with some of your incredible family and friends, including your brother, Jazz, and your friend, William, who are all rooting for you and incredibly proud of you. So I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude for taking the time to speak to me today. And congr congratulations again on your well-deserved win, Jack. Thank you so, so much.